Hey guys, all right, we are here with another episode for Artsy Trio. This month we have a new participant. Please welcome one of my co-teachers, Marie. And the link for her video and Bea's is down in the video description. Anyway, coming up for the next year, we'll be having um, some guest teachers. Marie's going to be joining us a lot. And um, yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun. Anyway, this is Marie's first move, mood board, Marie Linder. And there we go. Very blue and creamy. Um, I, I love the colors and the um, shapes and textures on it. Um, if you want a copy of this to do something um, inspired by it yourself, um, or you want to better look at it, um, you can get that by joining the RT Trio Facebook group. The link is down in the video description. And um, also, if you do something inspired by it, whether it's something you post on social media or a video here on YouTube or somewhere else, please link me in the video description or somewhere. Um, tag me somewhere so that I can see it. Um, sometimes I don't always see things right away, so there's that. All right, so based on the mood board, I picked some paints. And I picked some pencils. And I've got all matte acrylics and acrylic gouache because I like using a matte finish paint when I'm using them in a journal because I don't have to worry about the pages sticking together later once it's dry. Um, this is just black. I have, and that's uh, Dick Blick's uh, matte acrylic. This is acrylic gouache Holbein and this is navy blue. Another Blick matte acrylic in blue medium. Another Holbein in turquoise blue, because you know me, i got a little turquoise. Um, another Blick Matte Acrylic in yellow oxide, and the last one is Blick Matte Acrylic in beige. So I'm really getting uh, the inspiration to do some sort of simple still life sort of thing, maybe? Which I think, I know I've done before, but... Yeah, so I think we're going to do that. And for some reason, I want to paint lemons, which I've also done before. So, and it has probably been done too much. But I just, I'm going by instinct here, people. So, we're going to do something with lemons, and I'll just see where it takes us. I have a few paintbrushes and a few palette knives, and I'm going to speed forward through my process a little bit. But yeah, let's see where we go with this.
Okay, when I'm experimenting with a new color palette, sometimes I like to just do a simple, easy painting to see how the colors all work together and do some experimenting, which is what this most of this journal is all about. So I'll do the work on one side and then I'll make notes on the other side. That's what I did this time. I didn't really have any true lemon yellow. And I think that's why it just stuck in my brain for quite a few days. Paint a lemon still life. Let's see what it looks like. How, if, can you make it work? I think I did make it work. I actually like the way it turns out. Is it turned out? Is it perfect? No. But do I like it? Yes. Now this quotation was found as is in a bunch of things from my grandmother. She used to save quotations and articles and bits of paper and yep, all kinds of stuff. So anyway, that's it. Okay, that's it for this month. Um, go check out the links in the video description, as I said, for links to the other teachers' uh, videos. And I can't say, wait to see what you all do with this. It was a lot of fun, very challenging. Thank you, Marie, so much for the uh, mood board. Loved it. All right, that's it for right now. Go out and have a great day. Do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. And I'll see you later. Bye, guys.